Shoot in the USNCA Dallas line or Pensacola line. So basically your final goal being the Des Moines or the Worcester. Um, both very, very good ships. But I'd say Des Moines. Des Moines is a, probably a better all range if you're going to end up doing clan battles or ranked or anything like that. Whereas Worcester is good, particularly in division. Um, Worcester's probably a better ship for random battles. Yeah. The issue with going down the Des Moines River is you've got to suffer through the Pensacola. Where does the split happen? Yeah. You've got Dallas at six, Pensacola, so yeah. You've got to suffer through the Pensacola, the, the New Orleans isn't great. The Baltimore is brilliant. Is it the Baltimore or the Buffalo that's getting the nerf shortly? It's the Baltimore, isn't it? It's going to get nerfed soon. Radar duration is getting... But the Baltimore is a brilliant ship. The Buffalo is a decent ship. But tier for tier, it's nowhere near as good as the Baltimore. And the Des Moines is brilliant. Range is your friend on this. So he's aiming straight. That Konigsberg needs to be taught the error of his ways, of which they are significant. You like the Pepsi, do you? It's got brilliant AP, but Total Traverse is awful. There's quite a few downsides to the pen, so it's... If you, if you can make it work, it is good, but... If you struggle with positioning and struggle with slow turrets and things like that, it's a real rough ship to play. Look at that seat. Reasonably angled, but... Shout out for Emerald, please. AKA. Uh, AKA Mrs. Wookie. You're all prepped for his birthday. I'm excited. I don't even know. Are you up late or. I mean, he raided me, what, about like four hours ago? Hopefully it'll run speed. I'm sure it will. Are you up early or up late? I can't work out what time it would be over there now. Ah, okay. Early, early.
Coffee sounds like a great idea. I'm going to get me lunch, have a coffee after I've fed the, fed the pup. They are, I'm not aiming very well. It's burning out, I think. This is one of the ships, Kim, I think, that I have done quite well in damage-wise and terribly in win rate-wise. I have to double-check. What is for lunch would be most likely a cheese or a ham sandwich. Nothing exciting. And then for dinner tonight is falafel burgers, handmade. Um, Island tuggings, fine, but the gun arcs are. If you can find low islands like this, perfect. But the gun arcs aren't. Some low islands like that, perfect. But the gun arcs are really low. It's fast shells. I mean, I can't see anything now, so... Yeah, I've got no idea where this spot is. Good with spot planes. Hey, Jaggedy, take it easy. Thanks for stopping by. You see those shell arcs are very uh, typically Russian. Oof. Spicy vegetable egg noodles, nice. AP would have been better in this situation. No, he's turning in, but he's going to give me enough angle if I... Alright, which one? Donut Boy, I think, is the next one. Let's get ready for kiting. Don't think the Queen Elizabeth quite got the range to hit us. I like to kite in these ships, just so... Right, that has got the range, and I didn't even know it was there. Uh, this could be a very inglorious death. And he has got the range now. Try and get one on fire. Switch. Now we've got a reduced fire chance because I'm running IFHE, so. 
and no signals. It could do. Molotov would be a good shot as well. See this lot chasing carriers, these battleships chasing carriers up here. Doesn't work. Yeah, I'd definitely say, yeah, the next season of Clan Battles is going to be, is it seven and then six? Oh. Anyway, yeah, range is definitely your friend on these ships. Right like a Chapaya, you know. You haven't got great wiggle, but you've got, you can angle. You should do have much armor if anything catches your side. Hiding behind the CV. I like my style. He's, he's damage con, so we're just going to focus this one. As you all know, this sustained spam from cruisers is really frustrating for battleships. Drives them mad. That includes me. I think they're all looking for the CV. And what are they doing up there? But apart from throwing the game. Well, he doesn't want to burn. Let's switch to Queen Elizabeth, which normally just burns up at the touch of someone lighting a cigarette on board. Does this thing on fire? It's the creature that's aiming at me. Yep, it was. This sort of island cover though, perfect. Ship Lazo. We're not going to throw this, are we? Surely. I'm one shell away from been deleted by one of these battleships, so... Mm. Oh. That fire might be the saviour. I 
I think I'm just going to run now. Just pretty open the distance. Oh, second fire. I think they're perma. I think he's done. Tick, top, gone. It's a satisfying game to end out on. If it's your kind of playstyle, this is, I'll show you the captain afterwards. This is with a quite high, I think it's a 19 point captain. A Don Scoy captain, basically. Alright. How's your in the CV? For coal, it's a definitely worthwhile investment. How much is it in the armory? I don't think I see the prices if I've already bought it. Well, that's the HP used to the max. If he lands one, I'm done. Done. Oh, what? Ow! Oh, Jace, that is 10 months. Thank you very much, Jace. Much appreciated. Can we get some hopes in chat, please? Thank you once again, Jace. And thanks for all your help with the modern and the, you know, all the other stuff you do. Dead, 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 dead. Oh no, he can't aim. And lived! And lived! 83k coal, I'd say it's worth it. It's a good ship. Thing is, it's... it's okay, yeah, it's the rate of fire. I mean, I managed to fire 816 shells landing and you keep... the, the range you're hitting them. Fires, 10 fires with IFHE there, so I mean, you'd be even better if you didn't run IFHE. And it's a premium, so you do a bit better. 